Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 23 online game. Today we have the Detroit Lions, not the Buffalo Bills, and the Indianapolis Colts. I put in the beginning of the video, it was kind of odd, where the pregame matchup showed we were going to be playing against the Bills, and when I loaded up, this guy had the Lions. We'll take it though, because today we're using the Indianapolis Colts, and we're gonna see just how dominant the league's leading rusher of last season, Jonathan Taylor, is in Madden 23. Jonathan Taylor, now with the X Factor of Freight Train, the same dominant X Factor that made Eric Dickerson famous in Madden 20, that has made Derrick Henry such a force the past couple of Maddens, and now JT is in that elite class. Oh, he's also got Jukebox though. Jonathan Taylor is fast, he's got some finesse to his game. Game. I believe he has arm bars, a superstar ability as well. Taylor in the open field. Oh, I tried to hit the double juke right there, but maybe not one of our finer moments. We are already at three out of five on this freight train counter on the opening drive, and we might get four out of five. That we will. We might get a touchdown. Absolutely. With some showboating style points as well. Jonathan Taylor in one drive, four rushes of 10 plus yards. So. It's safe to say we're looking like we're going to get Freight Train in this game. This guy loaded up with the Lions and seems like does not have much of a clue how to stop the run as of right now. So I think it's in our best interest to make sure this guy doesn't leave the game right away. So what I'm going to do is run commit and give up a touchdown, which you couldn't really tell right there because he ran the ball. Now you can tell that we ran commit as Jared Goff downfield. He goes to Amonra St. Brown, but he goes out of bounds. So he couldn't get the touchdown. So we got to run commit again and we get a sack all right so clearly this is not the best Madden player in the world as we continuously run commit as he checks it down to DeAndre Swift and now I just got to make these guys fall I gotta do whatever I can to get Jonathan Taylor back on the field because you know whenever you have an opportunity to get one of these X factors you're playing against somebody you feel like it's a favorable matchup you know why not just you know maybe force the issue a little bit script the game a little bit instead of having to play three different games where you know we're struggling to bust off one or two runs so all we got to get is one more of those big plays as man Paris Campbell might have had a chance to return that one if we weren't so hesitant right there as we go outside with Taylor ah oh, just tripped up that easily could have been it but he just got that shoestring tackle with his user and linebacker second down oh man Taylor outside and this is the scary part about going against Jonathan Taylor right he can run in between the trenches especially running behind big Q as we tried to do on third down actually didn't work right there and then outside he can break the contain as we're gonna go for it fourth down and three keep him in this three down lineman set surely we can run on it maybe not turnover on downs Michael Brockers with the big play and apparently the way to stop Jonathan Taylor is to come out in a defense that is inadequate to stop the run all right Madden whatever you say picked off Kenny Moore with the INT and we'll get that ball right back thank you very much we're actually down by one because he went for the two-point conversion but now Jonathan Taylor will be taking over oh does he have a crib call potentially we'll never know because we did a little celebration so we could keep JT on the field lit up freight train activated now this show has officially begun and hopefully not ended Taylor outside running a man over of course freight train allows you to break that first tackle attempt more often than not as Taylor displays right here it takes a whole game the Detroit Lions to bring down Jonathan Taylor right now as we give it of course to Jonathan Taylor once again up the middle sit down never stood a chance that poor man did his teammates able to prevent the touchdown but we're gonna run no huddle on first down and goal at the one this is a bit risky but Jonathan Taylor still lit up but we are able to get the touchdown despite my bad run stick right there. Just ran into the offensive lineman until they pushed the D-line out of the way and escorted JT into the end zone. The reason why I ran that ball with Jonathan Taylor is because another one of his superstar abilities, he has four of them, is goal line back. And I believe that's something they added this year. I don't really know what the purpose of it is, but I figured I might as well try it. We're at the one. We're literally at the goal line. So he has armbar, jukebox, closer, which allows him to get in the zone quicker in the second half, I believe. And then, of course, that goal line back we just talked about. And freight train lit up. So it's all going good right now as now we're actually playing some defense. We're not run committing, trying to get this stop on third down. Golf. Oh, he's still going. Cross body with the perfect pass. <laughs> Okay, 
Okay, DeAndre slipped for the first down. I Sure, Madden, whatever. As he's looking for some slants, but he's picked off. Did I say Isaiah Campbell earlier, man? Isaiah Rodgers. Isaiah Rodgers with the near kick return, with the interception. Do not put your hands in the cookie jar. You will not get away with it. You can try to stop Jonathan Taylor, but good luck. Taylor sits another one down. Ooh, trying to deliver that stiff arm on Aru Warrior, but couldn't quite get it to stick. Great battle there by Amani Aru Warrior as we go with the pitch outside. Taylor once again got the edge. Nice little juke move. JT right now is on an absolute rampage. He's already at 200 rushing yards. We're not even at halftime. Jonathan Taylor breaking the tackle to the 12. I don't know how many broken tackles he's at, but we'll just call it a lot for now as we run no huddle. Taylor, shifty move. Got to make sure we don't get tackled for a loss in order to keep freight train going. As I believe we called a timeout with 13 seconds left. Taylor finding a lane. Ah, couldn't quite get it into the end zone. Two yards away. Got to make sure we score a touchdown here with Jonathan Taylor. I mean, we don't have to, but it would be nice. And we got the blocking. Can we get by the last man? Yeah. But we got freight train. And we got this goal line back. All of that combined surely had to give us the juice to get into the end zone. And that it did. So this is quite the display right now. And we're going to go for the onside kick with five seconds left because why not? Maybe catch him by surprise. Oh, we almost got it. But it didn't go past the 10 yards by about a yard. So close, but not quite. But my opponent does a really bonehead thing here. He declines the penalty, which means we get the ball. That means the recovery for us counts. He accepts the penalty. He gets the ball back. I don't know why he declined it, but here we are with Jonathan Taylor. Why not? One more play before the end of the first half. Ah, there were some pancakes being delivered. Big Q and I believe the other guard were just throwing bodies to the ground. And so is Jonathan Taylor as we are just absolutely bringing the physicality to this ball game. And that was an extra, what, 20 yards for Jonathan Taylor? So at this point, I'm like, hey, man, as long as this guy stays in the game, I might as well go for the single game rushing record, right? Of course, Adrian Peterson holds that with 296 yards. So basically, we're going to go for 300 yards in this game with Jonathan Taylor and hope for the best. Oh, that's going to be intercepted by McLeod. Is that Ronnie McLeod still in the league? Nice. As we got, actually, this is Naheem Hines in the game. I didn't realize it was Hines until I tried to truck him. I was like, why didn't I uh, truck Tracy Walker? Oh, that wasn't Jonathan Taylor. That could have been a touchdown, and we had JT in. They actually have Hines as the third down back in the depth chart. So now we're manually subbing in Jonathan Taylor. And Taylor doing damage. Who is going to bring Taylor down? Jonathan Taylor, for some reason, keeps on getting tackled at the one-yard line as we use Matt Ryan for the first time, besides handing off to Jonathan Taylor. Yeah, Matt Ryan's on the goals. You would never know watching this game because we haven't passed. Until now, two-point conversion. Matty Ice dropping back and delivering. That's Paris Campbell, by the way. <laughs> As we are going to go for the onside kick once again here. And once more, he is not in an onside recovery. We might get this one. We do. Oh, baby. Ball bounced around when past the 10 yards necessary. And we got it. Which means, of course, more Jonathan Taylor. We haven't had to pass the ball, so... Okay, until he stops the run, which clearly he hasn't. Let's just keep on dominating with Jonathan Taylor. That's what we came to do. That's what everybody's here for. And Taylor is putting on a dominant display. We're getting closer and closer to that 300-yard benchmark. Taylor cuts it inside. Ooh, is that a tackle for loss? Maybe it was. It might have been a loss of two inches, but it's enough to deactivate freight train on Jonathan Taylor. So I wouldn't say our fun is, is over, but Jonathan Taylor breaking like 20 tackles. Those, that dream's now a pipeline. We just got to make it happen ourselves on third down. That we will. That's a first. Ah, that could have been a touchdown. The funny thing is I could be hitting somebody's holes a lot better too. And we are getting close to 300 yards rushing. That was a nice move as JT throwing Walker to the ground. The extra hustle gets him the first down and helps him break Adrian Peterson's single game rushing record. Now we're going for 300 and the end zone. But Jonathan Taylor, for some reason, keeps on getting tackled at the one-yard line. Taylor was so tired after I ran a couple of no huddles right there as we end the third quarter. Start of the fourth, Taylor back into the game. We're running Wildcat, and Jonathan Taylor easily in for six. That was a bit too easy. <laughs> I don't know if I was goal line back or what, but... I mean, once again, that O-line is just getting the push right now. And, of course, when we're running, we want to run it on Big Q's side. And, yeah, we're going to go for the onside kick once again. We've technically gotten two of these already. We, we got it. That's number three. That's our third. 
third recovery, Kiki QT on top of the ball once again. And that time my opponent was ready for the onside and still couldn't get it. And he's trying to stop Jonathan Taylor and is not even in his zip code. Taylor, touchdown. This game is Taylor made for Jonathan Taylor to blitz the record books right now. And on top of that, this guy is not quitting. <laughs> He's not quitting. He's down 8 to 43. We have recovered three onside kicks on him, and we're going to go for number four. Surely this will be the most onside kicks ever recovered in a single online game if we get it. But finally, someone showing some heart on this Lions team, DJ Chark. The Lions, I don't think they touched the ball that entire third quarter. Uh, anyways, Jerry Goff out here now trying to make something happen. And I mean, at this point, I've kind of done what I needed to do. If this guy wants to leave the game, it's cool. But otherwise, I guess we'll just play out this fourth quarter. Look, I, I'm not hating on him staying in the game. I, I, I kind of respect him staying in the game, right? That's, uh, I don't know if that's more of an old school mentality of gaming or what. But it's like, you know, a lot of times when you're in these kind of beatdowns, you kind of just stay in the game and try to learn some stuff, right? Figure out why you're losing by this much. Maybe try to learn a trick or two from your opponent. So maybe that's what this guy's trying to do. Uh, we actually got the interception right there, but I got a roughing the passer user Rushing with the four is Buckner, so uh, interception negated, but don't worry, a couple of plays later, Bobby's on the scene, and I don't got the heart to taunt on this guy. We've got like three onset recoveries, so I'll just stand there and not dance, just give myself up so we can get Taylor back onto the field. We're in the Wildcat once again, and we have free train again. What in the world? We've been going off with Jonathan Taylor so much. Free train is reactivated. The pitch outside, Taylor, watch out, Davis can't get him. Oh, that was vicious. Aru Warrior, he's been getting some brunt hits from Jonathan Taylor as we're back into the Wildcat, running on Big Q's side once again. Blocks are decent, run stick not great. Doesn't matter though, because Jonathan Taylor, he's got another crip call with his name all over it. And if you're checking the stats, this will put Taylor well over four 100 yards rushing. Is this the NFL or is Jonathan Taylor back in Wisconsin running behind that Badgers offensive line? My goodness, what in the world is going on in this ball game? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. We got another onside kick, why not? And uh, it looks like he figured out how to recover onside kicks. That's pretty good. I mean, at this point, it's like, how many rushing yards can we get with Jonathan Taylor? We're over 400 as Amonra St. Brown or Amon Ra, same brown, as I'm supposed to be saying, I've been butchering for years. Gets the touchdown right there, one point touchdown. My opponent had a nice little dot for man coverage right there. Shout out to him, I'm not too mad about it because it means Jonathan Taylor with Freight Train will be back in action as he gets the two point conversion again. <laughs> this guy loves going for two and he's got a knack for converting them. Now he's trying to onside kick me, whether it's because he's down by 33 or he's just mad I've been onside kicking him, but uh, he kicked it out of bounds. So that's our ball. We're actually going to, actually we didn't have a choice to accept or decline the penalty as Jonathan Taylor continues rampaging through the Detroit Lions defense. Now I'm just running Wildcat to see how long it takes for him to stop it. Not on this play. Oh my goodness, Aru Warrior. He's going to have to go to therapy after this one as we're in the Wildcat once more power run. Jonathan Taylor. Oh, man, that's going to do it for Freight Train. You can break one tackle, but he had like three people there. We were at 472 rushing yards, by the way, with a minute to go. Can we get to 500? Can we get to 500 rushing yards in one game? We have six touchdowns as well, and that's when Matty Ice Bulletring one of the TDs. Fourth down and ten, Nick Foles is in the game. Yeah, we're going to go for this. Yeah, we're going to run it with Jonathan Taylor. Got to beat our Warrior, but he got his revenge on Jonathan Taylor. Turnover on downs. Oh no, not like this! Goff lost the ball! We ran commit, and he fumbled! He scrambled and fumbled! What's going on here? Uh, we're now at the eight yard line. If you saw Jonathan Taylor's stat line, eight yards will not be enough for us to get 500 yards. So this is a predicament here. So what uh, I decided to do was give it one go with Taylor, see if we can get the touchdown. But on second down a goal, we're just gonna kick the field goal and try to get the ball back here, essentially. Whether it's on an onside kick, which we've had in that for recovering, or we're just going to run commit until this guy scores as he does get the onside kick. Now it's uh, Cephas there. So we've got a number of receivers on his hands teams now that decided to wake up and smell the coffee as we're going to run commit here. Of course, give up the wide open pass to DJ Chark. Oh, but he's not trying to score. What is he doing? Don't do it. Oh, thankfully he got in. Thankfully, DJ Chark broke that tackle. I, I don't know if he was trying to showboat, but uh, that was very sloppy. And um, we actually got lucky that he scored the touchdown. 
if you want to call it that, as this guy is the two-point conversion master out here. Gets it to TJ Hawkinson. He's going to onside kick this, but that's okay because we just need somewhere around, like, 15 more yards. Whoa, we got to get the onside kick, though. And we nearly gave one back. But here we are with 12 seconds left. A time for maybe three plays as we go inside zone with Taylor. Couldn't quite hit the hole. Oh, man. Don't tell me I'm going to choke. We get 480 yards with ease, but we can't get the last 20. Oh, this might be it. Big Q with the block. Taylor couldn't make the last man miss. Oh, and that didn't get it. 497. It's going to come down to the last play. What if we can get to 500 yards on the ground with Jonathan Taylor? One second left. The pitch outside. Need some blocks. Not there. It's up to Taylor. And he cannot get it. He cannot get it. And we're going to end the game three yards shy of 500 yards. But still, what a display by Jonathan Taylor today. Oh, my goodness. 249 yards after contact, 22 broken tackles, 46 rush attempts. And the kind of sad thing is, we would have actually gotten 500 if I didn't accidentally run that one play with Naheem Hines instead of Taylor. Because Hines got 8 yards on that run. That would have put us over 500. But, I mean... I can't really complain about it, right? Uh, shout out to this guy for staying into the game and giving us the opportunity r to run this much. I don't know why he stayed in the game, but hey, GG to this guy, man. And uh, leave a like in the video if you guys enjoyed this fun game. Subscribe for more Madden 23 gameplays, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.